Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So this 3D cinematic title animation is created in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's see how to create this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and over here you can see that I have already imported this texture. So I will put a link in the description from where you can download this and after that you can import it in After Effects. So after that we are going to just start by creating a new composition. Let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can go with 10 seconds. Just click on OK. Now we are going to create another composition. Let's call this one text or logo whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now we are going to create one more composition. Let's call this texture and all the things will remain same. Just click on OK. Now first I'm going to open up the texture comp and we are going to just drag our texture into this. So this is quite big. So I'm going to press S and let's scale this down. Now we are going to rotate this. Press R and let's rotate it by 90 degree. Negative 90 something like this. Now let me just quickly scale this up. Something like this. Now you will notice that this side is bright and this side is dark and we want this to have equal lighting. So for that we are going to just simply select this, press Ctrl D. I'm going to rotate this top one. So I'm going to just rotate it by 90 degree. So let's just set this to 90. And after that we can select this layer and let's select the rectangle tool. And I'm going to just draw a rectangular mask. So somewhere in the middle, just like that. After that you can go inside the mask and let's increase the feather something like this. So now you can see that both the sides are bright and we are ready to go. So once you are done with your texture let's move on to the text composition. So in this one I am going to create my text so let's select the text tool and just click and you can type whatever you want. For this example I am going to type Batman and you can pick whatever font you want. I am using this prohibition font. Now let's quickly align this to the center. So using the align panel, if you're not able to see this, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Now let's make its anchor point in the center. So for that you can hold down the control key and then just simply double click on this pan anchor tool. Now we can select this, press S to scale this up. So I'm going to just scale this something like this. So once you're done with this, we are ready to go to the main comp. So now let's add our text comp. So let's drag it into the main comp. And after that we are going to first add the stroke to this and after that we are going to separate the stroke from the main text. So let's see how to do that. First I'm going to select the text and let's right click go to layer style and let's select stroke. And after that you can go under the stroke option and from here you can set this to something like 5. And let's change the color to white so that you can see that we have the stroke. Now I'm going to select this and I'm going to right click and let's pre-compose this and make sure the move all attribute to the new composition is checked. After that I am going to call this text stroke and then just simply click on OK. Now I am going to drag again the text comp and let's place it over here. Now we can select the bottom layer and let's change its track mode option. So if you are not able to see the track mode option then you can click over here and let's change this to alpha inverted. So now you can see that we are able to see only the stroke something like this. So once we are done with this, we can select both the layers and then right click and let's pre-compose them and let's call them stroke or outline, whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now let's again drag our main text form, something like this. So you can see that we have the fill layer and we have the stroke as well. So now I'm going to drag my texture as well. So let's drag it and let's place it below the main text. And after that, we can change the track mat of this to alpha mat so that the texture is visible only where we have this fill, something like this. Now on the stroke, we are going to add a couple of effects. So first I'm going to apply fractal noise. So let's drag it onto this. And now we are going to change a couple of the parameters. First, I'm going to increase the contrast and let's go under the transform and I'm going to increase the scale as well. So let's set this to something like 300. Now let's decrease the complexity and I'm going to just simply set this to something like 3 or 2 maybe. Now you can see that we have some areas of dark and some areas in the bright. So which is exactly what we want. So now we are done with this and let's add some fake 3D depth to this. 
so in order to do that what i'm going to do is just simply drag my text something like this and on this one we are going to apply cc radial blur let's drag it onto this and let's change the type to fading zoom and after that you can set the amount to something like negative 30 something like this now let me just quickly solo this layer so that you can see what is happening so after that just search for curves and let's drag it onto this and let's change the curves type to alpha and let's click in the middle and now i'm going to just drag this so that it goes to the very top something like this so now if i unsolo this now you can see that we have this really nice depth and on this one we are going to again apply fractal noise let's drag it onto this and let's increase the contrast and let's increase the brightness as well now let's go under the transform and i'm going to just scale this up and let's decrease the complexity now make sure that this effect is on top of all of them something like this so that you can see we have this really nice shiny background and if you want you can just play around with the brightness something like this so now i can select this layer and let's right click and let's pre-compose this and i'm going to call this extrusion and make sure move all attribute is checked just click on ok now we are going to add our texture to this so let's drag the texture below it again i'm going to change the track mat to alpha mat so now you can see that all the texture is applied and i'm going to again drag the extrusion over here as well and i'm going to select the texture and let's slow down its opacity little bit so that we have some bright and dark areas something like this now we are going to change our texture so first i'm going to apply tint so that it turns black and white so let's drag it onto this texture now we can copy this tint and let's paste it onto the other texture as well so you will notice that both the textures are looking very similar so we can change that by simply selecting this texture and i'm going to press s and let's uncheck the values and i'm going to just replace the y value with the negative 100 so that it will flip the texture and now you can see that we have little bit of variations now let's apply curves and let's drag it onto the first texture and we can just play around with the curves to make it darker something like this now we can copy this curve and let's paste it onto the other texture as well and on this one we can make this little bit darker since this is the extrusion texture something like this now we can also add some strokes to the extrusion as well so let me show you how to do that so for that i'm going to just drag the extrusion over here and let me just quickly solo this layer by clicking on this after that we can right click go to layer style and let's enable stroke onto this let's go under the stroke and i'm going to just set this to something like 2.5 or 3 maybe if you want let's set this to 3 and let's change the color to white after that we can select this and let's apply fill onto this and i'm going to change the fill color to black now if i unsolo this so here you can see we have added the stroke to the back as well and if you want you can just play around with the stroke width and let's set this to 5 as well so that it will match the width of this one and let's add some shadows to this so in order to do that let's just pre-compose this and let's call this extrusion stroke make sure to move all attributes into the composition just click on ok and after that we can apply fractal noise or you can just simply copy the fractal noise from this stroke layer and just paste it onto this something like this if you think that this is too bright then you can select this press t and lower down its opacity but again it's completely up to you so i think this is looking fine now we are pretty much done with our text and, and there are a few basic tweaks left so first i'm going to select the texture and i'm and i'm going to make this little bit darker something like this and after that we can select the top stroke and on this we can apply drop shadow so just search for it and let's drag it onto this and you will notice that it will add little bit of shadow something like this if you want you can just make it brighter or darker however you want and you can add little bit of softness but i'm going to leave it to this these values as well 
So we are pretty much done with that text and let's add some glow to this stroke. So for that, I'm going to search for glow and let's drag it onto these strokes. So I'm going to just increase the radius a little bit and let's decrease the value to something like 0.4. Then select the glow, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And after that, we can increase the glow radius and let's increase the glow intensity to something like this. So over here you can see we have this really nice glow added to our text. Now we can animate the outline of this stroke by simply going to the stroke and after that you can add a keyframe for the offset. Let's add a keyframe and let's go to the very end. After that you can just simply move this offset. So you can see that the outline edge is moving. So if I play back, you can see that the subtle animation is there. But if you want you can just simply move it a little bit far so that we can see the animation something like this now you can do the same animation with this stroke as well so let's go under the transform and let's add an offset and let's go to the very end and we can move the offset over here as well so if i play back here you can see that we have this really nice animating outline so now you are done with your text and if you want you can add your background in the back so let me just quickly do that so i have this batman background and let me just quickly drag it over here now we can add an adjustment layer so right click new adjustment layer and on this one let's apply curves so we are going to add some curves adjustment to do some color grading so first i'm going to set the red channel and let's lower it down a little bit just play around with these values and let's go to the green and let's lower it down as well so this is completely experimental you can play around with these values to add a little bit of color grading to your scene so yeah i think this is looking fine so this is before and after so yeah, i think this one is looking much better so once you're done with this we can add a null object so let's right click and let's add a null object and after that you can parent all the layers and let's parent it to the null now we can add a subtle scaling animation so let's add a scaling keyframe and let's move to the very end after that we can add some scale just like that so here you can see we have this really nice scaling animation if you want you can move the keyframe closer to make it a little bit faster perfect now let's add a very nice reveal to this so in order to do that we can add an adjustment layer and on this one we are going to apply gradient wipe so just search for gradient wipe and let's drag it onto this and make sure the color adjustment layer is on top of this after that we can select this layer and let's change the softness to something like 50 and we can play around with the transition completion to have a really nice reveal so let's go to the very beginning and let's add a keyframe and let's go to somewhere around two or three seconds and after that i'm going to set this to zero so if i play back here you can see we have this really nice subtle reveal of the text something like this again if you want you can select the null object and you can play around with the scale and position so if you want you can move the text below but you can see that the image is moving as well so we can just unparent it and now we can move the text below something like this and now if i play back here you can see we have this really nice text reveal Again, if you want, you can play around with the texture or you can drag some other texture over here as well and all the things will be changed. And the best thing is that this is completely procedural. So if you want, you can just simply select your text and you can type whatever you want. You can change whatever font you want. You can also drag some logos over here. And if you go back, you can see that all the text will be updated, something like this. And you can have a different background and you can just play around with these. So this is how you can create these kind of 3D cinematic titles in After Effects, all this without using any third party plugin. So the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you are supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you are not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.